However, things are still in the most restrictive purple tier in San Benito County, still in the red tonight. Our KION's Drew Andre live for us tonight in Santa Cruz with the impact this latest round of reopening can have on their local economy. Drew? Well, good evening, Veronica. Here at the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, they would be allowed to reopen if they choose to. As of tonight, they still have not decided if they'll reopen things like rides to a limited capacity. Meanwhile, as more sectors of the economy begin to open up, things opening indoors could be important as the weather gets colder. The sounds of the boardwalk could be returning, but Santa Cruz County's biggest tourist attraction will still have lots of restrictions if staff ultimately decides to open up the amusement park. Only a max of 500 people will be allowed to enter, and it will be reserved strictly for Santa Cruz County residents. CEO of the Santa Cruz Chamber of Commerce, Casey Byer, says it won't be an easy task. The security people aren't going to be able to check that. So it seems like an illogical uh, way of doing that because they're not like a Disneyland where you come up and you show an ID. I would predict that they will, they'll try to do some degree of opening, uh, and, but they're they're mindful that the you know even in the winter months they're not open during the week. The boardwalk is opening its bowling alley starting tomorrow, but so far that's the only change. The new guidelines also mean bars can open for outdoor seating for the first time since midsummer, and restaurants can now fill up 50% inside. Buyer says this is an important step heading into winter. As we're rolling out of the summer months into the fall months, those businesses use this shoulder season to cover because they know when the winter hits that they can't do a lot of the things that the, the that this new tier will allow us to do. The health officer points to Santa Cruz residents social distancing and limiting gatherings as the reason for less cases in the last several weeks. Uh, the evidence grows stronger and stronger that face coverings offer tremendous protection against the disease. More and more counties are turning orange and yellow and the state as a whole is stable rather than in Increasing. We have always said it would be great to have a unified federal national strategy for this, but absent that, California has one for the state, and I think that's helped us all. Now, in this less restrictive orange tier, Santa Cruz County will be completely aligned with the state, meaning they will not be any more restrictive. As for the boardwalk, they plan on making a decision in the coming days or week about to what extent they will open up. Reporting live in Santa Cruz, I'm Drew Andre, KIO News, Channel 546.